In one of my recent videos, I talked about how X is so unmoderated that people on the left leave. And Threads is so hyper-moderated that people on the right leave or they never go to the site in the first place or the app in the first place. Maybe you think I'm wrong there, but I've been going to text-based political forums since the late 80s on, like, on BBSs, you know calling someone else's house that has a, mo a modem or several modems or, or like, you know, a dozen modems all connected to their, their computer and it's all, it's all local based, you know? Yeah, since those days, I've been going to political forums, but even more so after like 9-11 and then I really started getting involved on the political forums. And one thing holds true. If there's not enough moderation... People on the left leave because they can't handle people being what they perceive as mean-spirited to each other. Whether it's the way that they word, whether it's the way that you have worded something, or could be the actual idea itself, or how they've perceived the idea itself, because sometimes ideas are very, very much miscommunicated and misinterpreted. But, you know, if something is perceived as punching down in any way, they get offended to the point of not wanting to converse anymore. The more blunt you are, the more offended they get. So you've got to dance around everything and frame things the way they frame them. You know, no, they're not illegal immigrants. They're undocumented immigrants. I'm sure there's some other phrase that they have that sounds even more positive, too. But, uh, you know, you, 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 you've got to word everything and frame everything the way they want you to. You know, they want you to dance around everything to the point where your original idea might not even be, be stated. Your original idea might be censored. But that might be kind of the point. Sometimes the point is to use moderation as a tool to shame someone and to just stop someone from stating their actual views. If someone's views are deemed hateful, um, they have to do everything they can to stop those views from spreading. If you're not doing that, you're causing more harm to the world. Particularly if you're aware of all these things. At least that's what the mindset says. So to them, if you're not trying to reverse the bigotry and bad actions of the past, of, of our past, of the United States' past, you know, the bad nature of the past, then you're just causing harm and are as bad as the people of the past. If you're not ideologically anti-racist, you're just as bad as a racist. If you're not ideologically anti-sexist, you're just as bad as a sexist. You know, and so on. But they are simply the ones to get offended more easily. Many of them might ask, why bother with a platform that fosters such negative ideas and bad ideas? To these people, if you're not preaching inclusion and equity at all costs, you're causing harm and are spreading hate. Now, if there's too much moderation, people on the right leave because there ends up being literally no way to be able to state how you feel about just about anything that's controversial without people throwing a fit and censoring the post. Oh, it's hateful. Oh, it's punching down. Oh, it's mean. Oh, you could have worded that better. Unfortunately, in the end, no matter how you say it, and no matter how much energy you spend trying to word it in a way that the moderators won't delete, the idea itself is combative and highly offensive, and is not allowed. So, to many on the right, why bother with a platform that only allows for one type of ideas or one flavor of ideas to be stated, and stated in a very particular way? That's certainly not the free exchange of ideas, that's for damn sure. You're not going to stop people on the right from having ideas that you find highly offensive. You can certainly be ignorant of them, though, and preach that the only thing they care about is spreading hate. I'm sure it'll help, right? So again, I go to both left-leaning places and right-leaning places. It's the only way you can be sure that you're not going to get stuck in an echo chamber. Just saying.